The third analysis tool you'll need as a PTI is the atomic radius tool. You will use it to help identify elements and to see how they are behaving on a nuclear level. It will also allow you to determine whether elements are highly reactive or slightly reactive. In an atom, the electrons revolve around the centrally placed nucleus, which is made up of positively charged protons and electrically neutral neutrons. The negatively charged electrons in an atom are attracted towards the positively charged nucleus like magnets. In contrast, the positively charged protons inside the nucleus repel each other. So what keeps the protons from pushing each other out of the nucleus? They are held together by nuclear force. The distance between the protons is very small, about one million times smaller than the distance between the electron and the nucleus. Nuclear force is caused by the closeness of the protons. The nuclear force is very strong and independent of the positive charge of the protons and the electrically neutral neutrons. It is the nuclear force that holds the protons and neutrons together in the nucleus of the atom.